Hello. You're listening to the Hammond Cast Show on our favorite station in the nation, KYOU Radio at 1550 on the AM dial in San Francisco, California and streaming all over the world on the internet at www.kyouradio.com John Hammond behind the microphone keeping you company for the next 45 minutes and you've got your radio at the right place on the dial because this is where we bring you the best in funk, soul and blues and folks I got something really special from the archives I'm going to kick off the show with today. So I would like to ask you to take out your pencils and paper, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because Al Jasbo Collins is going to tell you his famous beer bread recipe. So pay close attention because you'll be able to make some fantastic sourdough bread with only three ingredients and maybe even I can do this I'm not real great in the kitchen but I'm going to give it a try so I'm going to turn it over to my main man Al Jasbo Collins and he's going to tell you how to make that beer bread here we go now Hey, Jasbo. Hello. You know, uh, you know, with all this uh, bread that they need down here at the station, uh, it reminds me that uh, a lot of friends of mine have been coming up to me and saying, you know, I, I tune in the Jasbo Collins show every week, and and uh, I've been waiting for that for that cool uh, cool recipe for the the bread, the beer bread. You know. Yeah. I haven't heard that in a beer. while. How about uh, bringing a little bread down to the station, a little beer bread? Yeah, beer bread recipe. Of course, I used to do that all the time. I'll do it before we leave the air tonight. Oh, great! That'll, that'll uh, make a lot of people happy out there. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, they can bake a good loaf of bread with no trouble at all. Tonight, and I hate to spring this on you, I promised I would do the beer bread recipe before I left the air, and I have only about seven minutes, so I'm going to do it, because I can do it in about a minute. So in order to bake a beautiful loaf of fine sourdough bread, using only three simple, easy-to-get ingredients, do the following. You take three cups of self-rising flour, Make sure it's self-rising flour, because if you don't, you're going to end up with some concrete. So three cups of self-rising flour and two tablespoons of sugar and one can or bottle of beer, 12 ounces. One can or bottle of beer, 12 ounces at room temperature. Mix the three ingredients together. That's all you need. Three cups of flour, self-rising. One bottle or can of beer, 12 ounces. Two tablespoons of sugar. Mix those ingredients. When you get them together, make a little lump of dough out of them. And put them in a buttered loaf pan. A nine-inch buttered loaf pan and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then put that in the oven and close the door after you get it up to temperature and give it one hour. And then let it come out after that and cool down and you've got some beer bread that has been around the world three or four times now. All right. You heard it on the Hammond Cast Show. Yeah, Al Jasbo Collins. Thank you, Jasbo, for telling us how to make your famous beer bread. So uh, I'm going to check it out, and I hope uh, all our listeners will give it a, a go. And we hope it won't come out like concrete. They followed the instructions closely, folks. Thank you very much for joining us 
on the Hammond cast here at KYOU, otherwise known as John Hammond's Afternoon Slide. And sometimes we're, we're doing it in the middle of the night, too, when you can't sleep. Be sure and turn on the radio, 1550, or on your computer, KYOURadio.com. We'll do our best to keep you company. Yeah, back in the archives, I found another recording that I'm going to bust out now. And this is a tune that some of you who know me might know this tune, but you haven't heard this version. In fact, I haven't heard this version for many years. And um, a good friend of ours played bass on this. His name was John Whitelaw. Unfortunately, he passed away last year. And I'm really happy to find that I do have a recording with John Whitelaw on bass. And we had a band together when I was 15, 16 years old called Hot Mush, featuring Brown Sugar on vocals. And he was one of the greatest bass players that came out of the Bay Area. Studied down at Cal Arts. And uh, so you'll be able to hear him on this old recording. And also Frank Biner on vocals is going to bring you a positive message on this. And he passed away too, unfortunately. So... But he's going to bring you a positive message on my tune. Get back in the groove on KYOU 1550 AM. <laughs> gonna be a better way. So just get back, back up into the scene, back into the groove. Ooh, yeah. You can make it if you try. When love is been cruel and you feel like a fool and you don't know just which way to go. Your luck is down and you feel like a clown. Remember, one rule Getting back in the groove with John Hammond on John Hammond's Afternoon Slide on KYOU Radio. Now we're going to go back a little bit further. That was a 1981 recording. Now we're going to go all the way back 30, 31 years ago is when we made this recording We're with my neighbor uh, at the time, Bob Scott, the original drummer from Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks. And my old friend Mark Baum on tenor saxophone, my kindergarten roommate or his classmate from all the way back in 1958 in Berkeley, California. And uh, my old guitarist from El Cerrito, Jimmy Thorson, now known to many people as Jimmy James on the big fat L5 guitar. Yeah, it's Jimmy's Gibson L5 guitar is beautiful and he played through it. One of those 
Boogie Amps went about when they first came out. Here we go. We'll put the hammer down the organ with this one. It's called the Hammond Walk on KYOU. <laughs> Back to Hands of Time on 15.50 in San Francisco, California. John Hammond's Afternoon Slide. Drive easy out there, everybody. Keep your seatbelts on and keep it between the lines. This next one is by tenor saxophonist Todd Anderson. With Ray Grappone on drums, on guitar, Barry Finnerty and myself. At the... B3 organ. Get it, Todd. Thank you. 
Todd Anderson. He's my neighbor in New York City. Thanks a lot, Todd. Member of the local 802 Musicians Union. Voice from the past. Here's Jane Dornacker on the Hammond Cast Show, KYOU Radio. 66 WNBC, Procol Harum. I'm Jane Dornacker. One of six shade vast virgins leaving for the coast. Remember when that meant something, or at least it seemed to mean something? And what about when the miller told his tale? That was kind of a special feeling, too, wasn't it? Let's see what's next on the playlist. Oh, hmm. Dr. John. Oh, I thought he was from Southern America. (laughs) Well, anyway, he was in the right place at the wrong time. Or maybe he was in the wrong place at the right time. Well, you're at the right place at the right time. 1550... On the AM side of the dial, where it's all happening in San Francisco, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for tuning in. John Hammond, keeping me company with all my old friends here. And let's go back with Al Jasbo Collins. Let's go back in the Purple Grotto with Al Jasbo Collins and special guest, guitarist Kenny Burrell. W, we're talking to Kenny Burrell and playing some of his album, which is up next. Whatever track is next, what's next? Uh, See. Let's let's look at the album, pick one out, jazz ball. All right. Before we do that, I want to tell you that uh, last week I was in Boston. Oh. On my way here tonight, I, I had the radio on and I heard the woman talking to you from up there. Yes, from talking Lexington. To, yeah, talking about uh, Ron Delacaze. That's right. Well, I was on his show last Thursday. Oh, were you? Because I was working up there in uh, Framingham. Oh, yeah. At a club called The Matrix. Uh-huh. And, you know, he's a big fan of yours. I know it. We're good buddies. And he told me to make sure that I would um, give you his best when I when I came, because I told him I might be on your show this week. And yeah, we call it the world's smallest network. Another call here, it's uh, Teddy. When he calls, i got to check him out. Teddy, come on in. Oh, I'm doing fine. Oh, yeah, that man you got up there, right? I've been following him a long time. Who, Kenny Burrell? Oh, yeah, listen, I caught him down at Basin Street East. I think it was way back with Peggy Lee and Earl Garner on the card. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say hi to Teddy. Up right or wrong? Kenny? Yes, Teddy, you're right. That's, that goes wild. That goes back a ways. And you want to know what I remember most about it? What is that? It's funny because I, I was sitting ringside. 
and you had got a you had a brand new Gill guitar, uh -huh. and you banged it against the piano. And boy, did you let go! <laughs> yeah, that's do you remember that? Oh. I don't remember it, but it's, it's probably you that's know, like getting the first scratch on a new car. He, Same feeling, he man. Did, he went a little bananas, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. Same, Same feeling. Uh, great, great job. Well, good. Thanks for checking in, Teddy. Memorable night. Hey, listen, fellas, keep it up. All right, thank you. Well, thanks a lot, babe. Okay. You yeah. want to do? Um, yeah, I want to do anything you want to do. How about Lover Man? Lover Man, okay. Mm -hmm. Where is that? That's the last one on side one. Last track I on side one. I have trouble tracking this one in, man. The grooves are so close together. I don't know where anything is on this. It's where next uh, Lover Man. So last tune on side one. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, no problem. Why don't you run down the personnel one more time while I'm queuing this up? Okay. All righty. So we have on bass. Lover Man. Dave Jackson. You see where it is? On drums, Kenny Washington. Does Kenny. he any relation to Grover? No. 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 Okay. Uh, if you're listening in stereo, on your left is Bobby Broom. On your right is Rodney Jones and Kenny Barella's in the middle. There you go. Okay. All right. We're close to it. If we don't have it, we're close. <laughs> okay. Close enough for... Her. 